First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith. The Akwaf too, that's in this thing in true sincerity, the sisters, Shalom unto you. Um just want to make a quick video, you know, went through my things that I screenshot, things that I save, you know, a lot of, I think it could be edifying, a lot of information, you know, things that we kind of know already, but it's good to have proof. Um, you know, since I do videos off my phone, you know, so I'm going to do a split screen like this, but... Charles Schwab, if you don't know who he is, that's the leader of the World Economic Forum. That's where all the heads of the nation come together to talk about finances, you know, the economy. He's the guy that created the term, the Great Reset, which we know as the New World Order. That's the new name of it today. The New World Order is now the Great Reset, you know, so he said the pandemic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world. Now, for the men and women that's in this truth, we know that. We know that this, uh, you know, this this thing that's going on in the world, the um, the pandemic is staged, you know. So, and it's he's saying, look, it's a narrow window to finally bring forth our new world order, you know, the Great Reset. You know, so I'm just going to get a couple of scriptures, you know, and hopefully this video will be edifying. Now, this is the one that everybody should know, but this is what the Lord is doing. It said, Psalm 64 and 8, so they shall make their own tongue. Fall upon himself. All that see them shall flee away. All right. And that's why you got a lot of Edomites, you know, their own people. They basically, you know, making their tongue fall upon themselves. You even got this guy right here. What is the point of even saying this? You want to know why? Because Obadiah 1 and 3 said, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee. You got to understand that. These men, they, they really believe that they're going to accomplish this, but they forgot about the scriptures. But the thing is, is that um, since they do have a lot of pride and the most high have heart in their heart, guess what? They think they're going to establish their great reset and they're going to use the pandemic. We know it as the pandemic, you know, but hopefully the video don't get striked. So the 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 pandemic, you know, this is a narrow window for them to bring forth their agenda, you know. See, they don't understand that they are nothing but just breath. They're nothing but earth and ashes. And that's why the scripture said, why is earth and ashes so proud? You know, from the dust you come from to the dust you go back, you know. And Esau, he ain't even come from the dust, but. If you want to be technical, you know, you could say that he came from Cain. So he did. But the spirit that's in Cain's in these Edomites today. But that's another topic for another day. Get back to the point. So, you know, they're using the, you know, the pandemic to, to try to bring forth the new world order. And guess what? To a certain extent, they're going to succeed because it's scripture. Revelation 13 and 16 say he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand. All right. And whoever don't have the mark, mark won't be able to buy or sell. All right. Except he that have the mark. So you got Elon Musk. You got this, 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 um, these serpent serums that they're trying to give out to people, you know, and then they're increasing how many times you got to get the serpent serum. And it's creating the operating system in your body for they could bring forth the technology that they're trying to put inside you. That's why when the first lockdowns happened, when the, when the um thing, when the pandemic first happened, you know, 
That's why you have videos all over the internet, which they took those down, that when they did the first lockdown, when everybody was going to buy a damn toilet paper, they was putting up 5G towers in all these major cities and all around the world, you know? And that's going to be the electronic magnetic waves that's going to be, you know, flowing off that current into the mark that's going to, that they're going to try to put inside you, you know? And they're going to accomplish that. A lot of people going to take it because guess what? The story said it would. Only the elect is not. All right. Another quote. It says the fourth industrial revolution will affect the very essence of our human experience. Exactly. Because they're trying to fuse man and technology. All right. So the Lord is making their tongue fall upon itself. Only the men of the Lord really know what's going on, but you got a lot of people who actually know this type of information. Why? Because they're making their tongue fall upon themselves. And as it says in, um, is it X? Cause this is what's happening right now. I'm, I'm going to put 18 too. It's probably just X two and 17, but I'm going to put two 17 and 18 to be safe. So it said, and it shall come to pass in the last day, said the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days my spirit, and they shall prophesy. That's why you got all these nations, and no matter if you a heathen, all right? Everybody is prophesying right now. Everybody is waking up to the devil's bullshit. You got Edomites that's prophesying more than all the other nations because that's scriptural. He should make their tongues fall upon themselves, man. So everybody, as the scripture says, and um, let's get that real quick. So the Lord has poured out his spirit on the earth. We in the last days. That's why he, his spirit is out here. Yeah, they might not know, you know, the in all be all. But guess what? All these whistleblowers is for the men of the Lord anyway. So it's safe for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So all these people that's giving out this information, because you got to understand the reason that we know is because the Lord is putting the spirit on them to make their tongue fall upon themselves. You got whistleblowers that's in, in the industry. You know, Edomites is tied in with other Edomites. And then they, they're exposing each other's secrets. You know what I'm saying? So... We know all this information because they making their tongue fall upon themselves. All right. Oops. Now, let's see. We get another one, which is one of my favorites. I bring this out a lot. So you you're telling on yourself, Esau Edom. And it says, For thy mouth utter thy iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Thy own mouth condemneth thee, and not I, yet thy own lips testify against thee. All right? You the one that's telling on yourself. I can go to Google and, and type in a man and put in um, um, uh, the quote of what you said, and then I can just go steal it off the internet. Like I did with these. You know what I'm saying? So I can go type in a man's name and halfway remember a quote that I heard back in the day and go typing it in Google and then I can go find this quote. I could just steal it off the internet and make an edifying video through the Rakakwa Dash, the Holy Spirit, man. So the Lord, he made it easy for us, all right? Because he made these devils. Salakia, thought I heard something. But anyways, he made these devils' tongue fall upon itself, all right? Look at this. What's the fourth industrial revolution? Now that's something that we're we're um going into. All right. And it said will lead to a fusion of our physical and our digital and our biological identities. All right. And that's what they're gonna do with the technology that they're gonna put in us, the MOTB. All right, because that's gonna be how we operate in the in the great reset you know the lord gonna make it come to not but they're gonna try all right and at the time that they do this that's when the lord's gonna intervene because you got to understand 
the three last prophecies, major prophecies that got to happen. It's the Mark of the Beast, World War III, Jacob's Trouble. We don't know which one's going to come first, but shit, the way that is going on right now, it might be the MOTB. You know? But I don't know. It could be World War III too because, you know, over there in Afghanistan, which is just a, a ploy of distraction. But, you know, it's going it's going on. It's, it's going down over there, you know. But anyways, um... But yeah, so let's get some more scriptures and um, you know, get out of here. But you know, th this man is he he making his tongue fall upon himself, not understanding that the Lord is in control. And let's prove it. And this goes for all men. When you read these scriptures, it's not just talking about Israelite. It's talking about all men on the earth. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his steps. So a man can say what he going to do, all right? But the Lord is going to make him do what he want him to do, all right? So the man can say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But the Lord is the one that directs your steps, all right? Because you got to understand, if it was up to the devil, the devil would have been brought forth the draconian laws he would have been said you know what if you don't take the thing you know the surface serum i'm going to shut off your section eight your food stamps you ain't getting no stimulus checks you ain't getting no nothing the lord is the one that's doing this by gradualism all right so you got to always remember that the lord is in control always remember that of course the flesh i said of course <laughs> of course, the flesh, you know, gets in the way sometimes. We're not, we're not, um, you know, superhuman yet. You know, we're we're a mere man that's striving for the masteries. That's you know, trying to do what the Lord say to the best of our ability. But that's why the scripture said that our outward man perish and the spirit renew itself day by day. So the inward man is what keeping us going. The flesh still overcome us sometimes. So we can get in our thoughts and think about what if this, what if that. But remember that the Lord directs the steps. Let's get another one in Proverbs. So it say there are many devices in a man's heart. <laughs> nevertheless the counsel of the lord that shall stand and we know as many devices in esau edom's heart look at the shit that he's doing right now every time that they come together in the g7 summit the world economic forum they coming together talking about taking you israelites down and whatever casualties in the way of taking the israelites down so be it see the reason that edomites is really coming out because they realizing that they are insignificant their pressure in America is falling and they're not and, and, and the elite, the one percent don't give a damn about the, the rest of their own people. They care about their bottom line and their bloodline families, everybody else's casualties. They trying to the devil about to come down with great wrath, man. And he don't care who's in the way. So a lot of Edomites going to die. A lot of Jake going to die. A lot of people going to die, period, because the scripture said that. You know, even King David said that deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. The wicked is Esau, Edom. That's the Lord's sword. When he come down with this great wrath, it's the Lord putting the spirit on him. So he coming in the Lord's anger. So that's why a lot of people going to die. Because everybody think everything's a fucking game. But you're going to find out the hard way. That's why the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The Lord is not about to be found. Real, real soon, especially when he allowed this man to come down with great wrath. And ain't no more talking after that. Ain't no more repenting after that. You are in the repenting grace period right now. All right. And then I'm going to end it with this. Which is one of my favorites. This man. So it says Psalms 33 and 10. It said, the Lord bring up the counsel of the heathen and not because it's a vain thing. It's a very vain, vain thing that you think that you can add to what the most high created. After everything that the most high created through the Elohim, Yahweh Shai and the angels, he said it was good after he done created it. All right. 
But this man think he about to fuse man and technology. We're going to see what's going to happen. All right. So he said, the Lord bring up the counsel of the heathen to not. He make up the devices of the people of none effect. Because guess what? You're going to do whatever the Lord wants you to do. And that's the scripture that we're going to end in on. Verse 11. That counsel of the Lord stand up forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. So the Lord give his mind to every to all generations, to all men on the earth. Everybody play their part. Nobody go out of their course, whether people believe it or not. People actually really believe that they got free will, not understanding that you're in a trick bag. Job 12 and 16 says that the deceived and the deceivers are his. Deceivers are just unbelievers and believing in everything but the truth. All right. You've been seared with a hot iron and the Lord choose your delusions. And he put a strong delusion on you people to believe a lie, especially Esau Edom, by making him believe that he's going to bring forth his great reset. Two thirds of our people, whatever they believe in, believing that whatever way that they're go, that they're going to be OK. All right. Kwam Yasharala, man. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and Shalom.